seen the rotations of the last few days, so let's have a look and see where we So we will stand up all together, raise our eyes up to the sky with faith and love in our hearts. We will embark. Oh. We will give. By the end of today, we'll be halfway through the group stages. How will the tables stand? Let's find out. Hello, my fellow Latter-day Saints. Kenzie Retro here, back once again. Welcome back to Season 5 of Rocket League, and welcome to Match Day 3 of the 2018 Rocket League Champions League. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight down to business. Interesting stadium to start things off with. So here we go. First match. We've got Club Bruges and Borussia Dortmund. Bruges in blue, Dortmund in orange. In the last group game. Atletico Madrid won, well, lost 3-0 to Borussia. And Monaco lost 4-2 to Bruges. And as things stand, it is Borussia Dortmund at the top of the group on goal difference with Club Bruges behind them. Whoever wins here will go top, regardless of the number of goals scored. Iceman with a great shot. So I mentioned in yesterday's video that I had a couple of comments saying, uh, saying, hey Kenzie, love the sunglasses, you should definitely wear them more often. Well, ask and you shall receive. So yeah, after a very personal video yesterday, um, alongside, um, Alongside a cover of uh, Demons by Imagine Dragons. Uh, earlier today, Jack McDonald, a big shout out to you, man. He just got me to the 50 subscriber mark. And I just thought, heck yes. So, Jack, thank you very much for getting me to my first big milestone on this channel. Only took me eight months to do so. Whereas, it took me about three and a half years, or well, nearly four years, to get to that same milestone at E3 last year, no less. Oh, Retro tried to go for it there. Myrtle went for a shot, but couldn't quite get the target. So yeah, very busy week ahead of me on this channel. Walking Dead Reactions out tomorrow. Throwback Thursdays are back alongside my podcast. Episode 4 of Everything Wrong with The Apprentice this weekend as well. Alongside two episodes of Everything Wrong with Tom and Jerry. F1 2018 back and this time we head to Canada. And then... You know, I just got word from uh, my... I just got word from the guy that organises the, uh, F1 20, the F1 league that I'm part of. Uh, that um, this week's going to be a uh, rest week for the league as season one has finished. Season two will be getting underway on November the 4th. And you'll be seeing a lot of action from that. Great goal there from Tex. Chipper with the assist. Putting Borussia Dortmund 1-0 up.
And this will help Dortmund increase their lead at the top of the table. Not just on goal difference, but also increasing their points tally as well. I mean, all it's going to take is a couple of bad performances. And you, and your chances of advancing into the last 16 of the Rocket League Champions League will be in jeopardy. But fear not, you'll still be in Europe in this season. The only thing is you will be in the Europa League. And then, great equaliser there from Myrtle. The winner of the Europa League and the winner of the Champions League will battle it out in our first ever Rocket League Super Cup the end of the season. So you can let me know in the comments, folks, what, uh, what I should do for the Rocket League uh, Super, uh, Super Cup. Uh, should I just do a standard um, five-minute match, or should I do a best-of series? Here comes Redshaw. Oh, what an opportunity. Myrtle! Almost there. Unlucky. Oh! Imagine if that went in. They're also tonight. Oh, beautiful! Wolfman takes the goal, and that puts Bruges 2-1 up. With just 15 seconds left on the clock. There, and uh, here we go, five seconds left. Can Dortmund get a last-minute equaliser? Really dangerous! The Club Bruges hold on and knock Borussia Dortmund off the top spot of the group. Monaco and Atletico Madrid next. Monaco blue, Atletico in orange. A win by at least two or three goals in this match could see either Monaco or Atletico go top of the group. Denying Bruges that right for now. But as it stands, Club Bruges are top of the group. Great save from Wolfman after Merlin's shot. Retro off the bar. What an opportunity there from Retro. And Atletico Madrid go one up. Atletico need to win by at least three or four goals to have a chance of winning. Have a chance of taking top spot. They need a very dominant win here. Monaco only need to win by...
They need to win by at least three goals, but my word, Atletico are already halfway towards getting the top spot of the group. Jonker assisting Salty, making it 2 0 to Atletico. This is going to be a. Well. We were expecting a barnstormer here, and these two teams are delivering just that. on wiping clean I'll check that message shortly I just need to finish this match first demolition now Jester on Merlin great clearance not enough Junker assisting Salty again and that's 3-0 to Atletico And if Atletico get a fourth goal here, that will... If they manage to keep a clean sheet here, great demolition there on Salty for Retro. Oh, hang on. Oh, Storm preventing a fourth goal there. If Atletico get a fourth goal here... It will mean they will go top of the group because they have the better head-to-head -head record against Club Rouge. About 90 seconds to go. As it stands, Atletico could still take second place. Atletico will take second place as it stands. And Jester has just got a fourth. Wolfman assisting this time. And that's the goal that could see Atletico top the group. On goal difference alone, they will top the group. been close games between the teams in the group so far and just salty incoming and Marley gets one back storm with the assist as well very sloppy defending there from Madrid there. They got complacent. But even that might not be enough.
Atletico Madrid were bottom of the group at the start of the day. And gets the, a goal right at the end. It's group B next. Barcelona. And Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham need to win this. To have a chance of staying alive in this campaign. Not right. No, it's Inter Milan, Tottenham Hotspur. My mistake. Now these two teams have a history. Tottenham have beaten them in the Champions League before. But not under Rocket League rules. Inter Milan blue, Tottenham in orange. Tottenham are bottom, two games, two losses. Inter Milan, two games, two wins. Can Inter Milan maintain their 100% record? Barcelona beat Tottenham 1-0 last time out. And Inter Milan won 2-1 against PSV Eindhoven. Surprisingly, Barcelona haven't exactly had the strongest start. And that's first blood to Tottenham. Just like that. Within the first minute of the game. It is first blood to Tottenham. And just like that, they're already 2-0 up. The best Tottenham can hope for right now is getting off the bottom of the group. Because if Barcelona win... If Barcelona win, then Tottenham will get knocked back down a position. And Retro, what a shot off the post. That is, that is unfortunate. So last, they also uh, last night I managed to uh, complete um, Spider-Man on my PlayStation. Fantastic game, game of the year for me so far, without a doubt. And we've got Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out later this week, so I'll be going through the achievement list for that. A demolition on Sentis, but it wasn't enough. Sentis gets the hat trick and it's 3-0 to Tottenham. Really unlucky there.
and uh, so what, what are my friends on uh, one of my friends on Instagram co posted something regarding the WWE last night um, yes I've not really watched it but I have been keeping up to date with it and unfortunately We've had um, the news that Roman Reigns, um, man known as Roman Reigns, or to go by his real name, Breaking Kayfabe, uh, Joanna Wai, uh, has his leukemia has relapsed, and he's had to relinquish the WWE Universal Championship just last night on Raw. And this is what this is what the Instagram post said from uh, one of my friends. Judging from Seth's face, unfortunately, it's not a work. Humans are probably the funniest of species. We only care about each other when bad stuff happens. Many people hated Reigns with all their heart, like he killed, like he killed their relatives or something. Don't want, don't wait for bad things to be kind to each other. The person you see and not like, because he is X Y Z, is a person too, and that is more important than all your differences. I tell this to myself also, time to change, we wish a speedy recovery, and my instinct says, he'll recover. Hashtag Roman Reigns, hashtag Joe. Especially, in especially, in especially with October being Cancer Awareness Month. What on earth was Sentis doing? A careless own goal. And that's just called one back for Inter Milan. So Inter Milan's 100% record is gone and Tottenham Hotspur with their first win of the campaign. 3-1 the final score. Traitor! Yeah, thank you very much Kylo Ren for that. The best Tottenham can hope for is third place. Re Regardless of the outcome. PSV in Barcelona. Here we go. One of these teams will be elevated to second place. Because PSV and Barcelona both have a win already. While Tottenham just got their first win. Just there. Jester with the shot. Access denied. Barcelona in orange. PSV in blue. Retro demolition Jester there. Almost an own goal there. And another demolition on Jester there. And another demolition on Chipper this time. Goodness me, he's running right here. Boomer with the shot, Storm with the save. And another demolition!
Storm gets a goal anyway. That's 1-0 to PSV. That'll push. That'll keep Barcelona bottom of the group. Oh, no! And that's two. Careless mistake there from Retro. That's really unfortunate for that to happen. And that's three! That's three in the space of like 30 seconds. Chipper credited with the assist. And Retro, he redeems himself! Beautiful finish! Wolfman with the assist. Off the side of this arena, and boom, there you go. Barcelona get one back. Even that might not be enough. Wolfman, try to get a shot in. Not enough on this occasion. And another demolition! Goodness me, what on earth is going on? Retro just wanted to destroy everyone and everything in his way. Wouldn't blame him. That's what, that's got to be like five today, I think. Almost made it six. What? And he still demolishes him anyway. 4-1 to Eindhoven now. Off the bar, shipper assisting Jester, 4-1 to Eindhoven. One minute to go. And Storm has just made it five! Barcelona will be annihilated here! Demolition number seven, extermination! Oh, snap. Retro is annihilating everyone and everything in his way. Yuri with the shot. And another demolition, that's eight! But it doesn't matter because it's 5-1 to PSV Eindhoven. And thanks to such a dominant win, PSV Eindhoven are now top of the group. Group C, Red Star Belgrade and Napoli. In their last group games, Napoli... 4-2 against Paris Saint-Germain and Liverpool 
3-1 against Red Star Belgrade. A win for Napoli will keep their 100% record in this campaign alive. But a win for Belgrade could put them top of the group. For the time being at least because Liverpool have got Paris Saint-Germain to deal with. Went for the shot, but Casper deflecting it away. Oh! Chipper with the shot. Casper getting it up to the other side of the field. Metro tried to go for a shot, but wasn't to be. Demolition on Buzz. Retro demolished by Buzz. And Merlin demolishes Retro. Goodness me. And Merlin scores. Putting Red Star Belgrade ahead. Retro didn't stand a chance there. Two demolitions within 10 seconds of each other. Heads up! There's the equaliser! Here we go! Oh, heads up. Retro tried to get there as fast as he could, but Casper assisted Merlin, and that's it. Great save there from Chipper on Outlaw's shot. And Outlaw has just made it three. And wow! Sen 
sensational. Retro tried to go for the aerial sh shot. But it's Armstrong with the goal, Chipper with the assist, and that's 3-2 with just over a minute to go. And Outlaw has just made it four. Merlin with the assist. Thirty seconds left. And Retro steals the goal for himself. He could somehow force overtime here. Goes to show anything is possible here. Chipper demolishing Merlin. And there we go. 4-2. Oh! Throwback Stadium. Here we go. Paris Saint-Germain with a history here. A thrilling match that went over 10 minutes. Here comes Retro! Beautiful! 1-0 to Liverpool! Viper assisting Retro. Retro says thank you very much. Off the inside of the post. 1-0 to Liverpool. Oh, surely not an equalizer. Baker's belief it is an equalizer. Very unlucky there from Viper. Retro thinking to himself, well, that lead didn't last long. But knowing the spirit of Liverpool, they ain't going to go down without a fight. Especially against such a strong team as Paris Saint-Germain. And surely not! Oh my!
And Retro shrugs it off. Roundhouse credited with the assist. Retro again! Just pulls the equalizer for Liverpool! And what was that we were saying about how difficult it is to score in this stadium? Retro's proved otherwise! It's two for him! It's two for Liverpool! Even though Liverpool... Liverpool need to win by two goals here to have a chance of topping the group. Because on, because on goals scored, Napoli will still stay top. <sighs> Unlucky there from Retro. Looked like he was going to get the hat trick there, but it wasn't to be. And Muller gets the goal instead! Liverpool 3, Paris Saint-Germain 2. And Liverpool just need one more goal. And they top the group on goal difference. And it just rolls in. No interference whatsoever. Simply brilliant. That is highlight of the season for Retro. Without a doubt, he does not have to worry about that achievement anymore. A demolition! And he gets an assist as well. That's 5-2 to Liverpool. How much confidence has that aerial goal given him now? Retro can now rest easy, knowing he finally has the sky-high achievement. His first ever aerial goal, and you never forget your first. The countdown has begun! Five seconds to go, and Liverpool, 5-2 winners on the day, have just 
topped the group. Galatasaray, FC Porto. Galatasaray won 3-2 last time out against Schalke, whereas Porto lost by the same scoreline against Lokomotiv Moscow. And it's Lokomotiv Moscow with a 100% record. Schalke yet to get a win. And you've got Porto and Galatasaray sandwiched in between them. A win for either team here. Could set them on the path towards the top of the group. Lokomotiv Moscow have been a real surprise package so far. We'll see what happens in their game against Schalke. Heads up from Retro! Off the post. That would have been a great shot if it went in. Great save there from Hound from Retro Shot. And Samara has just got a goal there. For FC Porto. Which will mean Porto will top the group on goals scored. Bicycle, hang on a second! Oh, what an opportunity that would have been! To score a bicycle hit. That would have been brilliant. And C block! How has he not equalized? Retro with another shot there. Not quite getting it into the back of the net. Heads up on Retro! Great save from Midi! Retro assisting Samara with getting it away from the goal. Very good defensive work there.
30 seconds left. And Roundhouse has just equalized! And Retro has only gone and all but secured the game for Porto. Spectacular finish. And that's 2-1. Unless Galatasaray managed to pull something special out of the bag here to force overtime. Porto are going to top the group on goals scored. And that is it. Schalke in blue, Lokomotiv Moscow in orange. The only way Porto Volt top the group is if Lokomotiv Moscow win their game here. The only way Porto can be prevented from topping the group is if Lokomotiv Moscow don't lose their match here against Schalke. over the clearance there. Hard to believe we're almost halfway through this match day already. Groups E through to H will follow on shortly. Demolition there on Caveman. Retro with a wonderful clearance. Cougar with the shot, Junker with the shot. Still in the danger area. Retro, oh my word. Retro saw the opportunity there, couldn't quite hit the target. And Bandit, Cavemen, both with shots, neither hitting the target. Very good on the defence. 
from Retro. Bandit off the bar. Junker. Demolishing slider. About a minute to go. Still no signs of breaking the deadlock. Golden opportunity here! Great clearance from Retro. Wasn't letting that one go anytime soon. Retro with a shot. Bandit, great save there. Both teams have been very strong with their defense today. All it's going to take is one mistake. Just like that! Deflected off Junker, but it's Caveman that gets credited with the goal. And that may have just prevented Porto from keeping top spot in the group. Wait just a minute! Retro! Oh no! What a chance! I could have forced overtime! That is so unlucky. 